Unless you're from the state of Washington, you probably never heard of Peninsula High School, which is located in Gig Harbor, just west of Seattle and Tacoma. And even if you are from this area, you probably don't know much about Peninsula High School basketball. And that's because, to be honest, there's really not that much to know. From 2009 to 2012, the Seahawks won just six games. Then a young point guard named Ja'Cory McLaughlin showed up, and now there's a lot to know. Ja'Cory is a 6'3 point guard and considered by many scouts a top 100 prospect. As he's been at Peninsula, the team's win total has steadily gone up. From four wins in his freshman season, to 15 as a sophomore, to 18 last year. And this season, his team has a chance to be the first in school history to reach 20 wins. I think it was really a blessing, just coach coming here at the same time that I was coming into this high school. Both of us coming in, uh, the school wasn't really a basketball school, but now we're turning around, getting more fans in the school, getting more wins. Uh, the community's growing more as a basketball community. Ja'Cory's arrival coincided with the hiring of coach Jake Jackson. Hey, game speed, let's go. Game speed. Jackson has a great background in the game as he played high school ball with Kevin Love. He then spent five years as a manager and undergraduate assistant at the University of Arizona under coaches like Lute Olson and Sean Miller. One big thing he learned during his years on the Arizona bench was how the coaches stressed the finer details of the game. And he's brought ideas like that to his Peninsula program. All the coaches that I've worked under, it, any of those guys, they're always talking about the details. Like everything you do matters. And Ja'Cory bought in, so did all the other guys. And now we're, you know, we're favored, you know, we're, we're a contending program, which to me is, is remarkable. While being a good coach helps, good players are critical too if you want to turn a program around. Fortunately for Coach Jackson, Ja'Cory and his talented classmates were ready and willing to learn. And Ja'Cory's unselfishness has helped lift up everyone around him. He could drop probably 40 points or more every night if he really wanted to, but it, he's happy when he gets you know, our other guys going. He, he's, he's proven that he belongs to the highest level. I describe myself as a winner, uh, very competitive, uh, good shot, likes to get my teammates involved, uh, very competitive defensive player. Most star players only value offense. You know, Ja'Cory, you know, he's bought in, you know, the defensive mindset that we implemented our first season. You know, it's, it's defense first. You're gonna get your offense through our defense. And he's a guy that's always holding his teammates accountable defensively. So I think when he goes to the college level, he's gonna come in right away. He can score, you know, from threes, mid-range, finish at the rim, you know, go to the free throw line, knock down free throws. So we call him a quattro threat. I mean, from all four levels, he's a quattro threat. But defensively is where he's gonna separate himself from others. Peninsula plays in Class 3A in Washington, and this season the team is ranked among the top five in the state. As Ja'Cory has led the Seahawks to new heights, his biggest fans have always been his family. His parents moved to this area from Tacoma when he was in grade school, and while there was some consideration of having him attend one of the schools with powerhouse basketball programs in Seattle, they're happy with their choice to live in Gig Harbor and let him grow at Peninsula. There's a little bit of hesitancy when you see a team struggle like that, but we knew there was a group of kids around his age that loved basketball, that he just loved being around. And to us, it was about relationships and education ahead of, oh, let's, let's move to the city to play for a prestigious school. He's a, he's a leader. He's always wanted to be a leader in life. So we felt like for him to really show who he truly was, let's put him in a situation where he, he has to be a leader and, and build a program. We love the community. Um, we have a lot of community support. So we just said, this is what we're doing. So then coach came in and it's been a, it's been a fun process. You can see the progress every single year. Ja'Cory has three brothers, one older and two younger, including Elijah, who's on the Peninsula Varsity team with him. And the four have always been close, partly because of their living situation. All four of those boys share one room. We, we, we wanted to move over here, kind of get them into a, a good school school district so we had to make some sacrifices financially and uh, so they've they've grown up in you know the last seven years sharing a bedroom together and you know it's kind of fun because the youngest one thinks he's a teenager they're around each other 24 7 they don't have an option to go to the other side of the house so i just call it like this is your dorm room so <laughs> get to practicing because you're they're in there all the time jacory will get a little space from his brothers next year when he'll be playing for oregon state but there's still work to be done at Peninsula as he and the team pursue their first state championship. And he's not just working for this year. 
Ja'Cory and his dad worked with the youth academies in the area to help build a bright future at the school, so the winning continues long after his graduation. I like helping the kids. My dad helps with the kids. We all train them. Knowing that I'm a role model for those kids in this community, uh, being able to train them and then come watch me in high school perform, it's really cool so they can come see that. The community here has shown us a ton of support, so it's good for him to give back and show his support to the community as well. When I got here uh, you know, three years ago, right, there was no feeder program. And most high school programs have a youth feeder program. So we sat down as a coaching staff and Ja'Cory's dad and said, we, we got to build this program. So when Ja'Cory and all his, his teammates leave, this program sustains the success. So Ja'Cory's very active with me and his dad running our academy. And now it's become one of the biggest academies in the whole state. Whether it's been on the varsity court or working with children, Ja'Cory McLaughlin keeps raising the bar for himself and those around him. And you can bet he'll keep doing that as his career continues. In Gig Harbor, Washington, I'm Joe McCann.